If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, August 20th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Joining me today in the Finis Monitor will be Sierra Rungi. She is one of the 36 swimmers who will represent the United States in Dubai at the FINA World Junior Championships next week. And she joins us now from Baltimore. Sierra, it's good to see you. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. That uh, facility behind you looks very familiar. That's uh, the Meadowbrook Aquatic Complex, right? It is, yeah. It's your, your home away from home, I guess. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> so, um, obviously, you have the opportunity to be able to kind of swim at, at the, any time of the day. I understand that you're kind of like a... I wouldn't say homeschooled, but you're but you're kind of like a, a cyber student. Tell us more about that. Yeah, it's um, a program that runs uh, this year through my uh, brick and mortar school, um, and it's all online. And I have classes and teachers, and um, uh, just everything. You sign in and you do the course. You can go to class. You can do homework, and it's it's actually really really well thought out and really um, flexible, which works with my schedule since um, with training and such. Yeah, so it allows you and your coaches at North Baltimore uh -huh. to be a little more flexible in the times that you can yep. train, right? Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. So, so does that mean that, you know, you're training at different hours than most of your teammates? Um, not all the time. I mean, uh, normally I train with my teammates, and it's just uh, in between – practices that I'm online doing schoolwork and my sister uh, swims in the group that is at a different time than I am so I can do it while I'm waiting for her to go back home so it's it's just easier for uh, getting it done on time and such how long have you been a part of that online um, study um, I started it when um, I was a sophomore and I've been doing it uh, ever since, and I'm, I'll be a senior this year, so uh, about two and a half years. Okay, um, and th this is not a very, like you said, you've been doing it for a couple years, and it's not a new concept. Um, mm -hmm. What do you like about uh, being able to you know, study online from home? I like the ability to be uh, flexible on when I want to do my schoolwork. If I am had a really tough practice in the morning, I can go and I can take a nap and I can eat when I want um, and then do school later in the day or after practice. It's really just the ability to do school when I need to and when I want to. Yeah, I think you're going to get a lot of the swimmers who are watching this program right now. Are going to, they're <laughs> going to call their principals and say, we got to do this because after yeah. morning workout, the last thing they want to do yeah, is go to exactly. school. <laughs> well, to I, I would imagine this is going to be very helpful for you when you go to Dubai, right? I mean, uh -huh. you don't have to worry about missing any class because you no. can pretty much take everything with you. Yeah, I can. And the good thing is, and is uh, even if I don't need to or want to do it in Dubai, I can come home and I can catch up without worrying about uh, holding the class back and holding uh, myself back. It's just kind of go at your own pace, which is really nice. Well, you're going to be going to an actual brick and mortar university next fall. Have you thought much about the fact that you'll be going from studying by yourself to all of a sudden, wherever you go to school, studying in a classroom with 30, 40, 100 other people? Yeah, it'll be um, interesting. I mean, I've, I've gone to school before, so I know sort of what it's like uh, but I think this actually prepared me uh, for that college experience because you need to be disciplined enough and not procrastinate and do um, the stuff on your time um, so I think it's helped me prepare for that uh, more than anything which is really nice yeah I'm sure it is well like we said we're going to Dubai uh, you guys are going to be heading out later this week Mm -hmm. um, this isn't your first time on a, a national junior team trip. You were part of the Junior Pan Packs last yes, year. Yes, Yeah. Um, so what lessons did you learn from that meet that you'll take to Dubai with you? 
Uh, I just learned to really just have fun and to enjoy the team experience. Um, it's just so much fun to get to know all these uh, different uh, 18 and unders and to be able to swim with some of the best 18 unders in the U.S. is just fantastic. I've enjoyed it so much and I can't wait for Dubai. Now, uh, you qualified for this meet based on your times from U.S. Nationals in late June. And you also yeah. swam at U.S. Open, but you didn't go I as did. fast. Now, yeah. a lot of these people who swam, who, who made this team, made it on the team based on their times from juniors just a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. So yeah. were you kind of anxious, you know, on the edge of your seat, wondering if your times <laughs> are going to hold out? I was. Um, it was just kind of nerve-wracking a little bit because you never know. Some of these, these girls are really fast uh, coming into juniors. So I was a little bit nervous, but, I mean, Whichever person is the fastest is the one that gets to go um, and represent the U.S. And it's just whoever was the fastest is who I wanted to go. So um, it just happened that I got to be picked for the team. So it was very nice. And I was a little bit anxious. But other than that, I mean, it's all for the best for the U.S. And your times are pretty good, if I remember correctly. 25-7 in the 50, 55-5 in the 100. Um, were those kind of the times you expected to go this summer? Um, yeah, they were. Uh, it was just kind of a go in and see how it uh, see how it goes, and I was really happy with my hundred swim, um, and I'm hoping to do best times in Dubai. And you're also going to do the 800 free relay, is that correct? I am. Yes. Okay. Well, that'll be nice if we able to yeah. have um, hopefully three um, hundred freestyles, prelims, semis, mm -hmm. and finals, and then a good 800 uh -huh. free relay. So you yeah. you'll be you'll still be pretty busy. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a busy time, but it'll also be a lot of fun. Um, something I, I obviously, like I said, you're swimming with North Baltimore Swim mm -hmm. Club, and uh, you know a lot of history there with with people going and doing well on the international scene. Um, how does it feel to be part of a team that such has such a great tradition internationally? It's so amazing. I mean, to be able to represent North Baltimore and the U.S. internationally is fantastic. Um, I've got. The best teammates that have taught me so much um, from their experiences so I feel that I'm prepared um, in a little bit uh, not as much as I would like to be but it'll be fun to be out of the country um, this will actually be my first time so I'm kind of nervous but really excited well, have you got any tips from anybody? I know, you know, a lot of people that you, sw uh, you know, swam there, Allison Schmidt, Chase Kalish, mm -hmm. Michael Phelps, people like that. Have they given you any kind of tips on what to expect at a big meet like this? Uh, they have. I mean, I've texted some of them and um, been like, oh, how do I deal with the jet lag or how do I deal with this or that? And uh, they've been very helpful um, and they're so nice about it and they're just fantastic. Um, one other thing before we go, I, I kind of noticed that you've been kind of hopping all over the East Coast. You were, you were born in Pennsylvania, uh -huh. you swam for the Delaware swim team for a while. Now you're here in, North, in Baltimore. What was the, you just like to, to hop around, change places every once in a while? Um, yeah, there was, I mean, an opportunity to come down and train here in North Baltimore, and it was just something I could not refuse. I mean, to train with Bob Bowman and to train with the legs of Alton Schmidt and uh, Michael Phelps and such. Um, it's just been such a great honor, and um, it was just something that I really wanted to do, so we made it possible. What was it like that first day on deck with such <laughs> extremely talented people? It was so uh, exciting. I mean, walking on deck and seeing Allison Schmidt there was just fantastic, and she was so nice, um, and she made it so comfortable, and... Uh, I mean, to have Bob Bowman as my coach is, was, you walk on deck and you're just like, I'm on the deck with the best of the best here. And it was just, it was so humbling and so exciting at the same time. Well, you can count yourself now as one of those. You're, you're <laughs> going to be representing the USA. It's got to be a great, I'm sure everybody in, in North Baltimore is excited to see how you do. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks, Sierra. Um, congratulations on making the team and we'll be um, anxious to see how you do in Dubai. Thank you very much. All right. That was Sierra Rungi joining us in the Finise Monitor. The World Junior Championship starts next Monday in Dubai, and we'll be covering it on SwimmingWorld.com. That's going to do it for today's Morning Swim Show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.